Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Carrier Sense Multiple Access with Collision Detection, the big acronym otherwise known as CSMA with CD. We touched upon this in one of the Ethernet tutorials. If you haven't had a chance yet to check those out, please do so. There's a lot of good background information there. Here we're going to dive down, really introduce you to the ins and outs of CSMA CD. So we'll take a look at exactly what does it do and, and why do we need it. And you'll see it is actually critical for the function of an Ethernet network, specifically with hubs. And then we'll get into the details. How does it work exactly? What are the steps involved? And we'll round out our discussion with a look at the pros and cons of using this technology. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, here we have a simple diagram of a local area network using Ethernet, and we have a hub connecting these three computers. You'll recall from other tutorials the concept of the shared bus. So within the hub, we have our shared bus, and we understand that a hub simply repeats frames out all connected ports, except for the port upon which a frame was received. So if this PC sources a frame, it hits the hub, travels along the shared bus, and is sent out every connected port. Again, it doesn't, connect, it doesn't actually repeat a frame back out to the originating PC. That would make no sense. So that doesn't happen, but it does get repeated out all other ports. So this is what we've worked with up, up until now. And this works fine, but what happens if two PCs try to send a frame at the same time? Well, let's take a look. Let's say, again, we have our PC on the top here sourcing a frame. And at the very same time, PC down here sources a frame as well. Well, internally on the shared bus, those two frames will meet. And when they do, they collide, and we have a collision. And that's a bad thing. The two signals created by both PCs actually overlap, and the frames, they collide, and unfortunately, it renders each frame useless, full of errors. Nothing can be done with them. So CSMA with CD was developed in order to make this type of Ethernet network functioning functional. And what it does is it ensures that only one device speaks at a time. And in doing so, we don't have any collisions. So if that had been working here, this guy would never have sent the frame at the same time as our top PC. And we would not have had a collision. CSMA with CD, it's actually an algorithm. And it states how the shared bus is accessed. Okay, So you can think of it in terms of a group of people in a room. Say you have five friends hanging out, and they're all talking at the same time. It can be a little bit difficult to understand everything that everyone is saying clearly. What if only one person spoke when no one else is speaking? That's the concept we're working with here with CSMACD. Also, CSMACD, particularly the CD, the collision detection part, states, well, what if two people do, in fact, speak at the same time, and both of their messages are too jumbled. We can't understand both of them. What do we do in that in that case? Okay, so let's go ahead and actually look at an example of the specific steps of CSMA with CD. Okay, we'll use our sample Ethernet network again, and we'll take a look at step one, which is pretty simple. Step one says, if this PC wants to source a frame, the first thing it does is it listens to the Ethernet network. It listens to the shared bus to see if any traffic is on it. And what it's waiting for is for it to be quiet. So step one is to listen. Step two is, if it is quiet, this PC is then clear. It has the OK to transmit a frame. So it sends the frame out onto the network. And then what happens is our PC is going to hang out and it's going to listen to see if the frame collided with any other frames on the network. Now, even though it listened to make sure it was quiet before it sent, at the same time, another PC could, in fact, have sent it at the exact same time or just such a slight amount of time before it that there are actually two frames now on the shared bus. 
So our PC listens to see if a collision did in fact occur. Now, if a collision did happen, so let's say down here, the same exact time we source a frame and they meet up and they do collide, both devices are listening and both devices detect that a collision has occurred. So what they then do is they both send what's known as a jamming signal and they send it out to the network to all connected devices. And that is simply to let everyone know, hey, a collision has occurred. Okay. The next step is the key part to allowing our network to continue to function after a collision. And that is each of these PCs is then going to wait a random period of time before it attempts to resend the original frame that just collided. So they wait and it's random, so the chances then are less likely that they're going to resend at the same time. After that, period is over, they go ahead and this process wait, uh, repeats itself. So then both begin to listen to make sure that it's a quiet shared bus, make sure there's no traffic, and then they go ahead and they source their frame, they listen to see if a collision has occurred, and that process just keeps happening. And that is CSMA CD. So it's a multiple access network. All these guys are using the shared bus and we're listening to it. And if we do detect a collision, we react to it. Some notes worth mentioning are collisions are not actually prevented. On this type of network, in fact, collisions are expected to happen. But CSMA CD is enough to enable all the connected devices to work well, well enough on this type of shared bus. Remember, if you didn't have it, everyone would just keep talking at the same time and no frames would be delivered properly because they would just keep colliding and everyone would just keep retransmitting, if that. So just keep in mind, it's a way to deal with the problems of the shared bus, but it doesn't solve the problems. Collisions still happen. Some of the drawbacks um, include that only one device can send at any given time, right? We need to make sure it's quiet and then one PC sends and then while I'm or while that one PC is sending, no one else can send. So that's one drawback. The other drawback is this waiting period we talked about. Wait to see if it's quiet. Wait a random amount of time if, in fact, a collision has occurred. So all that waiting slows everything down. Finally, there are a limited number of devices that can connect to this network because just statistically speaking, the more devices you put on there, the higher the chances are of collisions happening. So there's a rough rule of thumb sta stating that about at about 30% utilization of this type of network, you kind of cross the threshold and performance will start degrading because there are just too many people trying to talk too often at the same time. Okay. And that's it. That is CSMA CD. Let's take a look at a quick summary of what we covered. Okay. We know now that CSMA CD, it's an algorithm, and the purpose is to ensure that only, dev only one device sends at any given time on the network, and that's to lessen the chance of a collision happening. We also talked about the steps that a device goes through using CSMA CD. So it listens and it waits to make sure that the network segment is quiet, it then sends a, a frame and it listens to make sure that no collisions happened. If a collision did happen, it sends a jamming signal to let everyone know that a collision did occur. Then the devices involved all wait a random amount of time before beginning the process over. So then they listen again to make sure it's quiet and then they resend that frame that collided. And finally, we took a look at some of the pros and cons. The, the, the good side is Ethernet on this shared bus has a, an, an inherent problem of collisions. And CSMA CD is a means to deal with those problems, but it doesn't solve them. So we still have only one device sending at a time. It's slower because there are a lot of waiting periods involved. And eventually it limits the size of the network because at a certain point, too many devices, you're just going to get too many collisions all the time and communications will slow down. And that is CSMA with CD. Thanks for watching.